Hey guys, well, I got another bike light here, and um, now first thing you're probably wondering is, why is it mounted backwards on the post here? Well, that's because this was um, supposed to be a tail light, but um, it's white. And uh, white really isn't supposed to be used as a tail light color, so I decided why not use it as kind of a front light instead. But that still doesn't answer the question of why I put it on the seat post. Now there's two buttons, one for LED and one for LD. If I hit LD, well, we get lasers on the side. Hit it again, we get faster flashing lasers. One more time, steady lasers. So, this is kind of makes on a virtual bike lane. So this way, people know kind of, hey, this is my area, don't go in here. And um, that's the main reason I bought it. But um, you were probably seeing this uh, cord here, that's electrical taped and connected to this battery. Well, the reason that's happening is because when I bought this, I bought it at this um, science surplus store and uh, basically what they have is a bunch of like old stuff and I found this in the electronics section so I decided to buy it but um it does not work the battery does not hold a charge so it only works when it's plugged into something so that's why I have it plugged in this battery here and the reason it's all electrical tape is because this wire is very um this is the wire it came with it's very brittle and I don't want it to break at the connections and to keep things waterproof so that's why it's like that so I can see the light, there's three modes. Let me turn the flashlight off here. We've got solid, which actually kind of lights up a little bit of area by the bike here, which is nice. Um, off, of course. This mode's kind of cool. All right, so that's the uh, first mode. Second mode is kind of a flashing. And then third mode is your light. So yeah, that's basically this light right here. Um, it's pretty cool, except for the uh, issue that the battery won't charge, but yeah, the lasers are definitely really nice on this thing. Oh, and one more thing, when I install this, I didn't realize this, but just look how close it is to hitting the bike frame. It's not touching, but man, it's close. So yeah, that's really interesting. And also, the lasers come out the side right here. So um, I want kind of talk about the box a little bit because the box is kind of interesting so um this is the main part of the box got your uh, charging brick which is really nice it came with that on um, your mounting bracket your light and then the usb cord was somewhere mixed in there it came with this little plastic cover and the manual which is um basically gives you no information about the light just kind of tells you the modes and that's it now on um, the box on this thing is really weird so uh, it shows the correct model here Shows the correct model on the sides, but we turn it over. Again, we still see the correct model. Uh, mm, I think that's a different model though. <laughs> so, you know, Chinese stuff, I guess it is the way it is. And um, I'm not surprised the uh, battery on this thing didn't really hold a charge because it looks like it's been sitting on the shelf since like 2015. The whole thing just gives me like 2015 vibes and charging brick kind of does too. So let me show you that. Charging brick is actually a really smart design. So the charging brick is the one right here for the little green light. And uh, it's got this really interesting thing where uh, if you plug something in, it can tell you if it's charging or not. So if I just uh, plug something in real quick, it turns red. And then when it's done charging or when I unplug it, it turns green. So pretty cool that it does that. This is like the first on. Um, 5 volt DC charging brick I've seen that does it. So actually a really nice design. I really like that. But yeah, I mean that's basically it. Thank you for watching.